but it's uh, I've seen worse uh, that has worked on the PS2, so fingers crossed we should be good. Also, hello to the uptubs and stuff. I really need a pillow. It's like this chair is perfectly designed for like sitting up straight and against, but then like you know, gotta like push my head back like this when really my head should be like like this. But anyways, uh, that was too quick to read. <laughs> Daimler Chrysler three pointed star is ringing. The yep, nope, gone. Okay, well, didn't even have a shot, my guy. What is what? Why is this the opening to my racing game? <laughs> the random the random horses though. What was that, man? Is it because like horsepower or because like Mustang maybe or something? I don't that was weird. Weird uh weird screen there. Were those the the Japanese raccoons? I can't remember the name of them, but they're kind of cute, I guess. Have I checked pawn shops? I haven't yet checked pawn shops. For anyone who's wondering what he's talking about, I had something stolen from me recently. Uh, presumably stolen. I guess technically it could just be still missing at a place that's not my house. Um, but it seems unlikely at this point because it's been pretty thoroughly searched. Anyways, point is, I've not checked pawn shops yet. If you happen to be at any, feel free to take a look for me. I uh, am considering stopping at pawn shops tomorrow, which is my first day off since, you know, it was went missing. And uh, checking to see if I can find anything. But, uh, yeah, we'll see if I have time tomorrow. I'm hoping to, though. Anyways, with that out of the way, this is the game, huh? Game options. Do we have anything interesting here? Oh, you know what, though? We should change our category. Tokyo X. Green Racer Drift 2. There we go. Ha! Ah, game config. Vibration on. This all looks fine. Did we get like a preview? No. What is SE? I want SE as my choice, whatever that is. Sound. Window. Close. Open. Sound effects can be heard out. Oh, whether the windows of the car. That is a weird way to put that. Oh God, what? whatever the default was. Okay. I didn't even mean to change that. I'm trying to like close, go, go back. I hope I wasn't changing things. The circle, you can use circle or X to select things. How have I not realized this this whole time? How much stuff have we fucked up? Okay, hold on, just <laughs> reset everything. Sound config, default. Controls, default. View config. Uh, ooh, wait a second, actually. Is there like a. Oh, that's like the angle. Uh, probably four. I like four, I think. Drivers behind. <laughs> But like the drivers behind, you know? That's weird. It doesn't give you like a an option there. Anyways. Load, save, and then ah, oh, reset all to default. That's nice. Replay theater, record challenge, conquest mode. There's no just like quick mode. Guess we can just go into the main game then. At Kaido. Why is it so blurred out? That's weird. There we go, now it's in. Yep, that's okay. I'm fine with that account name. You're right near Bose, you can try for the one right in town tomorrow. Okay, <clears throat> I mean, I would appreciate that, my, my guy. My guy. <laughs> I can't talk. I am half asleep. My mouth is super dry for some reason. It's, I'm having a good time. For sure, for sure. At night, the dark side of the circuit emerges, a private world known only to racers, where survival of the fittest is the only rule. Gossip leads to rumors, and rumors grow into the stuff of legend. Ooh. Legend, you say? What does the racing feel like? That's the only thing that really matters to me. 
One such legendary racer once existed. He was called the Emotional King, a veritable god of the Kaido world. However, they say he suddenly vanished after a race in Aso. Hmm. You don't say, huh? With the Emotional King gone from the Kaido night scene, two dominant figures emerged. Absolute Emperor and Miracle Summit. Is this based on a true story? I kind of hope it is. That would be fantastic, dude. They came from category races and were already legitimate racers. These two are now rumored to be the best that Kaido has to offer. Also, I updated my thingy again, my upscaler. After this intro or whatever, I'm going to make sure I have it set to the right settings. <laughs> so I don't remember if I have it set to uh, 30 FPS or like games or anyway, it doesn't matter. Legendary Metropolitan Team, the 13 Devils, apparently took it upon themselves to stem the flow of Metropolitan Racers crossing over into Kaido. It's a lot of lore for my racing game, man. I'm okay with it. I can dig it. Can anyone defeat the Absolute Emperor and Miracle Summit? I'm guessing that's going to be us. Probably not today, but... <laughs> what has become of the Emotional King? Has the Kaido Circuit really been overrun by the 13 Devils? And where's the next legendary racer? I think I think they mean us. I think we're supposed to be the next legendary racers, but probably not, to be honest. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome to Kaido World. First, let's buy your new ride. You can buy your vehicle at either the new car dealer or the used car dealer. You can buy brand new cars at the new car dealer at a hefty price. You can get a better price on higher ranking machines with a little wear and tear at the used car dealer. But don't blow your money on buying the car. You'll be better off saving some CP for buying parts to tune your ride. Okay. Mm, I mean, probably used car, let's be honest. Never owned a new car in my life. Can only buy. What do we got? Honda CRX, sir. <clears throat> Suzuki Kai Sport R. Toyota Levin 1.6 GTZ, Nissan Primera 20V, Toyota Levin 1500 SR, Mazda 6, that's pretty sick. That would take the majority of our money, but I do like it. Honda City Turbo 2, never been into boxy cars, man. And then the Honda CRX Surge well, we're not doing the City Turbo 2. The CRX serves 13, basically 14 mil. The Mazda 6 is also 14 mil. I see Nate really wants us to get the CRX. So it's all front, all front. The Honda is lighter by a fair bit. Has... 800 less cc's uh runs at a higher rpm <laughs> i don't i don't really know what like any of this means to be honest um weird uh okay we'll get the honda crx sure you got it my guy buy cash uh, input a license plate number what's our license plate number does it matter probably not this might be like how the cheat system works or something though uh, at me bro there we go <laughs> is this okay yes Yes, it is. Woo! Got your new ride, eh? I know you probably want to hit the streets, but wait a sec. Kaido World is divided into day and night. During the day, you can enter official races or take sponsor tests. Cars and parts can only be bought during the day. Earn money in category races and enter advanced races and master races to win prizes and rare parts. Prizes are officially approved and are proof of your unique skills. Get them and you can't lose. Pass sponsor test to become a sponsor driver. Then put your sponsor stickers on your car. And if you win a category race, your prize money will go through the roof. So is that what we should do? 
move through each course. Take sponsor tests to get contracts. Change to nighttime. Um, check race equipment and info. Let's try a sponsor test, I guess. Yours and take off. Wait, does that mean it cost 50000 to try it? Or that they'll pay us 50000 for passing it? View battle course information. Why are they called battle courses? <laughs> uh, we have to drive their car for it? That's fine, I guess. I'm hoping this will work kind of like a uh, tutorial, you know? To give us some, some hints on what the hell is going on. Okay, yeah, and it, it is on the right settings. Uh, it froze, though. Hold on. Can we restart? <laughs> uh, there's a retire, but not a restart. And also, why are we in first person? Bro, I don't know what any of the controls... Uh, okay, X does that. What does... What does right trigger do? Well, of course it's a failure. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. You didn't explain anything to me. Takeoff contract could not be made. Do we get another try? We do, and it doesn't look like it costs anything. Uh, okay. Try again, I guess. Go battle. Enable shift assist. Sure. I'm assuming we just gotta go fast. <clears throat> Hopefully, I don't know. I don't know what any of the buttons do. So what, do we just have to beat that guy? It's like shift assist is enabled, it says, but like, can I? Oh God, how do we change view? I would like to not be in first person, please. Triangle, okay. God, dude. Squares break, circle. Does nothing that I can tell. Oh god, not triangle. L1, L2, I can... Bruh! <laughs> this is so bad. It's all me. It's all my fault. I just don't know what the hell's going on. Okay, so slight left followed by slightly harder right. It may just be the car, but I so far I don't like the way it turns. Is circle like handbrake maybe? He's catching up to us. I'm assuming we have to beat him. Well, right here's the, the end. Hey, success. So does that mean we get a sponsor? We shouldn't with that showing, but. Okay. Try sponsor test. Sure, why not? Honda Integra, type R. Enable shift assist. Wait, what was this one? What's the goal? I don't know what the goal for this one was. Well, that was that was a bad takeoff, man. Oh, whatever. Okay, like it's called Tokyo Rift or Tokyo Rift, Tokyo Drift Extreme Racer or whatever, right? Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift 2. So I'm assuming there's got to be some kind of like drifting mechanic. It doesn't seem to be circle. Is it X? Or not X. X is fucking the accelerator, you dumbass. Is it, is it square? Is square handbrake? Is there just not a handbrake? Oh! Is it L2? Or not L2, R2? Holy shit. Yeah, okay. But, like, R2 was doing weird things to our RPM last time. That's why I didn't even think that it would be R2, man. Okay, well, it didn't do shit that time. And I'm assuming the little bar at the top is how much health our car has. Hmm. I mean, I think we're going to win the race again. But, again, I would argue that we don't deserve the sponsorship <laughs> like <laughs> just because the person we were racing against sucks ass doesn't mean we we should win anything okay well apparently we have sponsors is there any kind of like 
go past, move through each course. I'm assuming that means like just take a test drive. Uh, Hiroshima. Let's try that. Why not? New course available. I can dig the music. I don't think we need the cutscene though. We can skip that, please. What do the sticks do? Tire exchange? Practice? Enter parking? Enter the parking area? No, I just want to practice driving. What is TA attack and CA attack? Time attack? So, I, I don't know what any of these things mean, man. I'm so lost. I do have... Sorry, no, cancel. I do have the, uh, the manual. I guess we could look at it. No, you know what? Turn off shift assist. Just because I want to see what shift assist is, or what, how, how we shift. I'm guessing R1L1? Oh, that's how we, like, look behind us. Okay. So triangle does that. Circle is break or reverse. Square is regular break. Okay, yeah, it's... L1, R1 is shift up, shift down. Did we stall it out? Why did it go to, like, neutral for a moment? R2 definitely does something in regard to drifting. Left stick seems to turn on all of our lights. Okay, there's like no corner ability. Like, you know, turning is just non-existent. Hmm. I need like a straightaway to to test out shifting. It feels like one of those games where it might be best to just ride the fucking wall. I wonder how like friction works in this game. But how fast are we going? Okay, we're going 40 miles an hour. This turn looks like a 30-ish mile an hour turn. No? We were fine going much faster than that. 35 was too fast for that one, though. This looks like a high-speed turn. We should be fine. This one, though, probably like 20. Yeah, 20, 25. Okay, you know what? It's probably somewhat realistic. It just doesn't feel like I'm going 50 miles an hour right now, you know? I think that's where the disconnect in my brain is happening. Like, it doesn't look like we're going as fast as the thing down there says we're going. I definitely want the shift assist on, though, just because I obviously am going to need the help. Just trying to learn how the handling works in this game. Huh. Okay, well, let's just, let's just get into it, man. Time attack. Downhill, fine, daytime. No, just exit. I'm not going to enter the parking. I don't even know what the point of entering parking is. I'm sure there's some sort of reason for it, but... High up sponsor. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Is that... Oh, go pass is what we actually, like, have to do. Wait, we have emails? How do we check our emails and stuff? Here we have seven new emails, one new information, 13 new BBS posts, and somehow we have 30 fans already. We literally haven't even entered a race. Why is there a person or a ghost, a sheet, <laughs> hanging themselves? What is that? Bruh, I'm so confused. Alright, just go pass, I guess? 
What's the what's the first one? Is there like a difficulty rating on these by any chance? Well, there's only the two choices. We already know uh, Hiroshima was ooh, a no-go for us. So what's this one like? We'll try this one, I guess. Category race. Enter parking practice. Enter parking. What's in the parking area? Is it cars? I bet there's cars. Team, high gambler, supporter, medalist, trickster, slasher, question mark? Select destination. Uh, B. Wait, we actually pick like our parking spot? What? <laughs> what the hell is this game, man? Okay, well, you know what? Oh, yes, we can park under the cherry blossoms. Okay. We'll just park here. X isn't doing anything. S circle? No. Okay, cancel then. I don't understand what's going on, but entering the parking doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe that's something we can do later. Normal race. Gymkhana? Gymkhana? Uh, advanced race? I don't know what that means. Let's just do normal race. CA cup, TA cup. TAC cup. What is a CA cup? Talk with rivals? Okay. Do we even have rivals yet? I don't think I've met anybody. Lil Giant, High Rev, Disciple 86, High Fi, Melon Gripper. <laughs> Bruh, let's talk to Melon Gripper. Those Hakone Stalker guys come out at night. I wonder if it's easier to make money as a team. Good insight, Melon Gripper. <laughs> that's, that's all I need to know. I guess let's just enter the race, man. I don't. I don't know what's going on. Why does it always put us in first person mode? Also, I feel like our card needs an alignment, man. Action? Stop judgment? Wait, is this like a technical skill thing? Oh, yeah, and we probably, like, can't touch the walls to be considered for stuff. Yeah, okay. Clear points, 4,500. So what, do we get points for, like, drifting and shit? Yeah, the points started popping up. I don't really understand how drifting works yet. <laughs> oh, let's go. No, son of a bitch. <laughs> We had so many points. We got the drift and then we fucked up. Well. <laughs> nice. Well, we made $1,000 though just for showing up. Let's try that again. Now that we know that's what CA is. Is it... I don't understand what it stands for. Stop pulling to the right, dude. Okay. You can do it. Thanks, man. You too. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Okay. That worked well. Sorry. We got it on the next one right here. 3,153. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. Let's go. Oh, shit. Okay. We hit the wall. It's okay. It's okay. All we need is 4,500. So if we can get like this one. That, that's enough. That's enough. That's a clear. Oh, that's not a clear. No, don't touch the wall. Shit. And I think that was the last one, dude. Wait, is there one more? Is there one more? No, that was it. Son of a bitch, man. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we had it that time. Oh wait, ranking second? Did we get second place? I guess, I guess so. 
Okay, whatever. Let's try TA Cup. What the hell is TA Cup? Is Melon Gripper doing this one too? I kind of want to talk to Melon Gripper again. I see Lil Giant again. Hi, right. Yeah, it's the same people. Melon Gripper, you got any more insight for us? No, you say the exact same thing. Okay. It's very wise, Melon Gripper. Thank you for everything. <laughs> oh, fuck me, dude. What is. Is this just a regular race now? So would TAC be like time attack with points? Is it like a combo thing? So it's a three quarter mile race. Or time attack, presumably. I wonder if... Oh, we don't have like an RPM meter. I wonder if... Uh... The X button is pressure sensitive in this game. Like the accelerator is pressure, pressure sensitive. Beer time, a minute seven is the goal to beat apparently. I mean like IRL drifting is objectively not the fastest way to get around corners, right? Just good racing is. So for time attack stuff, I feel like we should probably just not drift. Well, we beat the clear time. That's first place. Continue. So that's 50 grand. Sea level one of four points. Okay. Now what the hell is TAC? I'm, I'm imagining it's time attack with points. Maybe. All I see is time, though. What is SP? No. Hmm, I'm thinking... I'm thinking SP has something to do with... Yeah. I think it has something to do with the car's... Uh, durability, maybe? Jesus Christ, we're gonna hit every wall, man. We got this, it's fine. Oh, shit. Okay, so circle... Doesn't seem to do anything in this car. So, let's not hit circle to stop. I thought... I'm just used to, like, a normal handbrake, not R2, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just saying words. Okay, let go of the accelerator. Straighten out. Jam the accelerator. Go straight as possible. Take the turn from the outside. Apparently way too fast, though. Okay. And then slow it down. And then from the inside corner. We're going too slow, apparently. There we go. Now hit it. 70, 80, let's go, let's go. Small turn, Sub slightly larger turn, that's the finish. So is that first place? That's first place. This isn't a very good game. <laughs> like, it's, it works, I guess. That's about all I can say. So like, okay, so we beat those three races. We got second and two thirds, so now what? Do we need to enter the Gymkhana? Let's do time attack, I guess. Okay, there's different levels. R1, category help. Ooh. Gymkhana race open to all cars. Beat the required clear time for the course. That's, that's it. That's all the info we get. Okay. We'll try, see what happens. What was the clear time? Like 13 seconds? Oh, it's a cone test? Uh. Oh shoot, okay. We went the wrong way. There's a preview up there and I still went the wrong way. What happens if we like, 
Can we restart? We can retire. Continue. There's no just retry button, so. Retire and then try again. Same thing. TA attack, enter. Yes. Where was the actual exit then? I thought it was just like the same place we entered from. Okay. So I know what we're doing here. Here, here, here. And then. All right. Oh, it's because we didn't go through the like checkpoints. That's why it didn't work. Okay, well, I mean, we got second place. That feels good enough to me. Let's try number two. See how badly we fuck up at that. Uh, we're going through this one, right? Yeah. Why am I in first person mode? I don't know. Hey, we got first. This is kind of, is this a real thing? Seems like a way you would train or something like that, you know? Like I'm, like I'm entering driving school. Make it through these cones without hitting anything safely within the required time. Oh god, oh god, okay. <laughs> I, can't, I can't read this map! I quit, retire, yes I'm sure. Okay, that's fine, I know I retired. Continue. Is there anything else to do in this game? Because honestly, the driving just doesn't feel that good. Maybe it's just the shit car we have. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's the tires. Maybe we just have bad tires. Let's let's go to nighttime. What do we do at night? Okay, now let's set a foot in the darker side. At night, you can beat down rivals that show up at the parking areas. But just hanging out at the parking area doesn't guarantee you'll meet every rival. The key to finding race rivals is checking the PA after various conditions have changed. In each stage, there's a stage leader called the Slasher. When you fulfill the conditions for guys like this to appear, they'll post a challenge on the BBS. Take the challenge and they'll show up at the PA. You got that? I'll say it again. Until you reply to the Slasher's challenge on the BBS, you won't see him, so don't forget. I don't know how to check the BBS, though. I see there's 13 of them, but I don't know how. Uh, uh, not change car. I only have the one. Basic settings. Initial port. Oh, that's neat. Okay, can change a bunch of different settings. It's actually kind of nice that all that stuff's there, though. Player information. Fat Funk. That's my name? Do I not get to pick my own name? What if I don't want to be Fat Funk? <laughs> mysterious Shop? What is the Mysterious Shop? Cleared all? 10 million CP. Wait, what'd that say? Buy a doll that sets next phase weather to fine. Oh. You can use, like, some magic to change the weather. So are these courses going to be at night now? Or is this when we need to enter the parking area? I know they really made a point of telling us to check the thing, the BBS, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, I don't know how to to check the BBS. Challenge you to a time attack battle. You don't know what that is? It means you try to beat my top time. Uh, sure. Let's go. I don't know what's going on. I have no fucking idea, dude. I'm just clicking things at this point. Oh, I like how the uh, like UI changes. Got like a little bit of a glow to it down there now. Well, we either have better acceleration or there's a really sharp turn coming up that I should be scared of, one or the other. This turn doesn't look all that bad. Okay, a little bit heavier. Slow down a little bit. Okay, slow down a lot. We're also 
right on the inside. Get wrecked. That's fine. We're fine. A little bit of paint on the wall. That'll be okay. I looked over a bow, and then I looked up, and suddenly there's just a wall in front of me. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. I mean, we are handily kicking this guy's ass somehow, even though we are racing like absolute garbage, man. We beat him by six seconds. That guy's a rival? That guy just sucks. I don't think he's ever raced before. So wait, did we get anything for beating him? No, he just disappears off the map. What is a high gambler? <laughs> I've been waiting to see just how tough you really are. Don't disappoint me. He's crazy about a certain animation character whose trademark color is red and likes to quote his lines during battles. You might wonder what a man his age is doing still obsessing over cartoons, but lately he's even been dressing up as the character during battles. The horns on the helmet tend to get in his way. Who is a famous red anime character that has horns? I don't know. I have no idea. I can't lean back as much now, though. I could lean, like, just the seat back a little bit. But, actually, I feel like it should go through. A little bit more. There we go. Uh, no, I don't know, actually. That feels kind of funny. Anyways, uh, sure, whatever. Let's, uh, go battle. Is this, is this time attack? I hope it's time attack and not points, man, because we suck at points. Oh, rude. He's definitely got the acceleration on us, man. Okay, I think he's just got the better car in general. I think we're kind of fucked on this one. Not gonna lie. Wait, conclude? Why did... Okay. I don't know what happened. I don't know why we just lost that nowhere like that. I want to know what all those other options are, like the, um, like the tricksters and slashers and stuff. I'm assuming those won't show up until we get deeper into the game. Yeah, same thing, just three regulars and then, oh no, wait, this one's a trickster. Or medalist, one or the other. Trickster. SP battle, 25 CP. It's not going to tell us anything about it, though, is it? I hate bright lights more than anything else, so don't flash any at me. Is that... Is your car a kid? Uh, he makes his living as a jeweler, and his handle comes from the gemstone of the same name. At any rate, he loves deep, penetrating blackness, and will... Gladly come out and race on moonless nights. Consequently, the headlights on his machine are rather dim, and sometimes he even turns them off and races blind. Okay. What's his handle? Oh, Black Onyx. I see. Sure, battle. We'll probably lose. I wonder, like, if we can use that to our advantage. Is it possible for us to, like, turn our high beams on and just fuck this guy up? That'd be hilarious. Oh. I don't think we've gotten, like, a whole little cutscene before. Uh, excuse me? There's nobody in that car. The car is driving itself, sir. Self-driving cars I don't believe existed at this time. Wait, are we driving the same car? Do you just have a better version of us? Haha! Take those lights, dick. Get wrecked. <laughs> He's fucking ramming, dude. I don't understand why we lost to the other guy so quickly, like... 
It was either the world's shortest race or the game, like, he just got so far ahead of us that the game was just like, you're never going to win, give up. He just forced us out of it, man. I honestly don't know what happened there. Just turn off our lights. We're Black Onyx now. No, I'm joking. Give me my lights back. Half a mile to go. I mean, we're pretty far ahead of him. His SP is going down quick. Is he, like, riding a wall or something? Oh, wait. Does your SP go down when you're, like, behind by a certain amount or something? Maybe we ran out of SP when we were fighting the other guy because we were so far behind him. And then you also obviously lose SP by hitting walls, which he must have just done, too. I wonder if it's... Yeah, it must be possible to just win by, like, running their SP down somehow. Maybe that's a way of, like, when you're just way OP for a race, making, not making you sit through the whole thing. So we didn't get anything special for facing the Trickster either, which is kind of sad. What's the point of having these special characters if they don't do anything? Front and rear tires. Does it cost us money? What? Front and rear sports tire normal was switched out? A quick? I don't I don't understand this game at all. Honestly, between how tired I am and how not great this game is, this might just be it for us, my guys. Let's uh let's end game end conquest mode, yes. Save sure. Why not? Is there anything else to do? Oh, you know what we could do, actually, though? Before we, like, just GG out. Uh, are there any cheats? Tokyo. Called Extreme. Racer. 2. Game FAQs. There's gotta be cheats, right? Um... I don't know, this was for the Dreamcast, but we should be able to change. Consoles? No. No, we can't. Okay, let's we'll search for it again. Tokyo Extreme. That's not how you spell Extreme. Racer Drift 2 PS2. There we go. Cheats. Unlock extra license plates. Extra start money. Enter these codes on the name select screen. Ah, so you have to put in like special names? Hmm. Well, that sucks. And that's the only cheat. I wonder how much do like new cars cost? Uh, continue. Oh, I'm sure it just went to new game actually. End game. Yes. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't need to fucking save. Whatever. Just leave. Uh, end game. End, yes. Save, no. Conquest mode. New game. Our name is Takumi. Capital T. A. K. U. F. I. T. A. K. U. M. I. End. Yes. Apparently, this will give us more money when we start. Yeah, okay, we have 2.96, which is a little off from what it says on the guide here, but I'm pretty sure that's more than what we started with on the other one. Shop. New car. Ooh, lots of options. Suzuki, Toyota, Honda. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, though. Appreciate that. Oh, that's not even expensive, man. The Honda Beat, Integra, CRX again, Civic Sur 2, Honda Fit, and then back to the Beat. Uh, what the hell is that? 
that a... What is that? Pika Ramen? <laughs> okay. I don't know what that is. Mazda Mitsubishi? I was always a fan of Mitsubishi stuff. And like, uh, Need for Speed and whatnot. Go for the Civic, of course. Man, we just played with the Civic. The Civic was not doing it for me. I gotta be honest. Obviously, it's Pikachu eating ramen. Is that what it is? <laughs> Yeah, okay, that is what it is. I had to get like really close to be able to see it from back here. It just looks like some sort of monster or something, man. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Mirage, Mirage, Asti, Colt. You gotta like be able to unlock cars or something. Cause these cars aren't that good, I feel like. What do we got under Nissan? March. RZ1. Well, he is a pocket monster. I mean, Pikachu is technically a pocket monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, guys. I know what Pokemon stands for. But, like, that doesn't look like Pikachu from back here. It looks like some sort of weird alien thing. I don't know, man. Why are you questioning me? <laughs> oh, bruh, that's what we need. The Suzuki Carry. Let's play with that fucking truck, man. And it's cheap. It's only $942,000. Select the body color. It's only available in white. Cash. Let's go. You put a license plate number? No, it's fine. I don't. You'd love to get one of these trucks? I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. I feel like the game is broken, man. Like, <laughs> I still don't know how to fucking check BBSs or emails or anything like that. And we have all of these messages. And for some reason, we don't have any fans now, but we had 30 fans when we started out the last one. <laughs> Maybe nobody likes this truck. But can we, can we like, tune up the car? Tuned car dealer. I'll buy a tuning car? Was that available before? Ooh, four-wheel drive. There's only one, the Subaru R2. What about front? The CRX. But they're expensive. I'm assuming they're pre-tuned and that's why. Part shop. Uh, buy parts. Buy engine parts. And S engine parts A. Okay. I'm not reading all of this. Nope. Uh, higher numbers mean better things. That's uh, Heaven Co. Obviously, oh, level one. Or do any of them offer higher than level one, or do you have to buy like one level at a time? Probably had to buy like one level at a time, huh? Turbo tune, muffler, cooling module, ROM. Okay, there's a lot of different options. I do appreciate that, but like, ooh, carbon bonnet. <laughs> Let's get some carbon bonnets, dude. <laughs> Look at the fucking hood on it, man. Just that, <laughs> that little tiny fucking hood. Jesus, yes, we're putting that on. Yes, equip it. Thank you. Rally kit, mud flaps. Let's get some mud flaps, man. Blue, bright ass blue mud flaps on this thing. I love it. What is the point of the mud flaps? Oh, there's more stuff? A winker tune? What the fuck? What is a winker tune? Whatever, I guess we're getting it. Uh, GT wing? <laughs> Bruh. Do people actually do that to these trucks? Install point, uh, the outside. No. Uh, keep it low. I think I like that one. Full arrow? What's the eye line kit? Does it make the headlights look like eyes? What's a canard? Oh, is that like a little flap there? Whatever, put that on too, dude. It is! They're just like little, little, uh... Fucking... 
the like strip of beard when you just have it on the side of your face? What's that called? Huh, brain no work. Kind of rally kit. Sure. 100,000 uh, copper pieces. I don't know what the hell CP would stand for. Get a full arrow kit. Let's go, dude. Oh, wait. Shit, yeah. Purchase it. Get this thing decked, man. Lights. Level 2, level 3. Is this just like how bright the lights are? Uh huh. Sure, level 3. Purchase. Equip. Oh, we can get different color white, obviously. The most blinding ones. Alright, cool. Got them all dressed up. Um. Weight down? Yes. Level two, weight down. Make this thing light as hell. No reinforcements. Transmission. Level two, yes. And then probably brakes. We want we want them them brakes to go burr. Equip. We get to pick the color. We can't even see them, but gold. LSD. Do we want to do some LSD? Let's get that, that special ROM, dude. There we go. Nice. Update them. ROM chips. S muffler. What's the difference between L and H? I don't know. H level 2. It's the farthest one down. Uh, it's the most like obnoxious looking one. Type three, type six. I don't know, just type nine it, dude. Whatever. Turbo. Let's get that turbo kit installed. Oh shit, we're like, never mind. We spent all of our money. Uh, air cleaner. <laughs> Can we afford some air cleaners from Trimco? Yes, that's only 5,000. Oh. Oh, it's better than our turbo kit, so it won't work. Well, damn. How much does engine parts cost again? We didn't actually, like, buy any of them. No, too much for us. Okay. There we go. Well, we made the car quote-unquote pretty. So, one goes room and the other goes room room. <laughs> nice. Which is which, though? That's... All right, now we got to race this thing, dude. Uh, move through each course. Okay. Let's go race. This is this is garbage. I think we did the other one last time. Let's do Hiroshima, I guess. Try that out. The best part of this game so far is that song. When you pick a new track for the first time. Or do I look like a room specialist? Wait, you're not? Here I was thinking you were the room specialist, man. The room expert. Coming to you for all my rooming needs. <laughs> I'm legit curious how this truck's gonna handle. Is it gonna be complete ass or somehow better than... It's interesting sounding. Oh shit, this is CA. <laughs> Oh, this thing can't drift to save its fucking life. Is it even possible to drift in this thing? It is. It is. Not particularly well, but it is. Okay, no. I want to do, like, a normal race, though. That's what I came here to do. Not, not the drift challenges. I never expected this thing to drift. Hiroshima time attack. That's what I want to do. Can we get a, a uh, high high score time? And a Suzuki carry with body kits installed and that's it. Dude, it's struggling. It's it's up to 40 and it's struggling. <laughs> this thing is mwah. I tell you what, though. Oh, shit, okay. I was gonna say it handles better, 
than the uh, the Honda that we were playing with before. But once it starts turning, it doesn't really want to stop turning. <laughs> it goes sideways. Easy. Oh, it does have a turbo installed, though. I just noticed that, that it has the second little gauge there this, uh, for, the, for the turbo. Pressure, right? Isn't that pressure? You have peeped for one room? You only have peeped for one room, dang. I'm sorry I didn't peep enough for two room. I don't, I don't know what that means. This is absolute garbage. Why is this even an option, man? Is it just for the memes? Like, does anybody actually race in one of these things? <laughs> that was no brakes at all. That was just turning. And it legit struggles to get s speed, man. Prepped. Oh, you have prepped for one room. Dang. My bad. My bad. I should have prepped harder. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is so bad. Look, if this is your favorite game, I apologize. But uh, I don't think this game is for me. I'm just going to throw that out there. I think this is a uh, video game that exists. And that's about the extent of my feelings on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> I think... I think, I think I think we're done. What do we get? Dropped out of rankings. Last place. Let's go, dude. I didn't expect much more. What is the... Uh, oh, shit. What's the average score for this game? Like, what do people normally rate it? Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Still getting used to this new chair. <sighs> okay. I need a bigger desk is what I actually need so I can scoot in closer. Anyways. Does it have any, like, ratings at all? Summary. User average? Great. On game FAQs. Really? Really, though? Am I just missing it? It must just be me, guys. Apparently, this is like 10 out of 10, a great game. Also, my face is like being blown out right now. Turn. Oh, Jesus. That is way too much exposure. That's a little. That's one step, man. That's negative 9. That's negative 10. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, anyways. Is there like. There's no, I refuse to believe it, man. Metacritic. Apparently, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift 2. There we go. Metacritic has it sitting at a 46 out of 100. But its user score again is 8.3. There's like 10, 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, and then 0. <laughs> uh, I have not played this game and have anything against it, nor have anything against it. I just don't want MC3 to lose its top 5 spot. What? Wait, was this like... Was it a meme to rate this game highly at some point or something? It only has two negative reviews. It looks good, but the driving model sucks. Why call a game Drift if every darn car drives so freaking stiff you can't actually drift? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much how I felt about it. Why the 35 positive reviews, though, from users? Critics did not like it, but... Note, the highway versions of TXR are called... Well, the mountain called Taito Battle? What? 
a decent little gem of a game. Is it Gran Turismo? No. But what it does, it does very well. It mostly, with few exceptions, on one on one downhill racer. It has a story and a unique way of finding opponents. Yeah, I don't care, man. It, I mean, it looks fine. Like, look-wise, I, I do think it's fine. But, like, it just handles, like, dog shit. And there's no explanation how to do anything at any point, which, I mean, there probably is in the manual, so I'll give them a pass on that. Um, but it's just, like, there's no feedback, really, when you win races, you know? Like, I mean, we're racing in the truck, so we're not going to win a race now, but when we won races before, like, there was no fanfare, nothing. It just tells you your spot here, and then you continue. But then what? Do you just play another one? Do you just replay the same one over and over again? Like, it doesn't... There's no guidance at all. There's the category help. But even that, like, Hiroshima TAC Cup. R1 for category help. Thank you. I would love to know more about what the Hiroshima TAC Cup is. A TAC tape race open to all cars. What the fuck is a TAC type race? I have no idea because the game doesn't tell you that, man. It gives you nothing. Nothing. It's so weird. And like, it gave you that little thing about like, okay, do this stuff at night, do this stuff during the day. So are you just supposed to do every race and then move on to night and then do everything there and then move back to day? Or how do you actually progress? I'm assuming you just keep racing random stuff. But you know, if you think of games like Gran Turismo or uh, I haven't played the Forza game, so I'll use like NASCAR as an example or something. Like time naturally progresses or, you know, so then like new tournaments come up and then you enter that tournament, you win or lose, you go on to the next one and then you just kind of repeat. That's not how this works. You just stay in the one spot. So what, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's not for me. It's, <laughs> it's, it's fine, I guess. It works. It just, it doesn't feel good at all. And I don't understand why there's no just, like, quick play mode. There is the, uh, the versus mode if you had a second controller plugged in. So you could, I assume, play it with a friend or whatever at least, which is nice. And the car selection, I really hope the car selection would open up later because I kind of feel like they suck connection net gather info on the net or check your mail hey did we actually find something is this how you get to the bbs and shit there we go dude be free i'm going to kaido world introducing the short course bbs wait i don't even know how i got here how did i get here legitimately i'm you go to the garage check race equipment and info in the garage I thought it was info about your equipment, man. About your car. I didn't realize that's how you got... Prize info, course info. The doll that's being hung for some reason. <laughs> okay. So what's the emails? Important normal. Mailing list? Mail information. Mail in the normal folder is arranged according to two types. Okay. So it's just explaining what the mail is. What's the BBS? Be free. What's it actually say? Welcome to Kaido World. Welcome to the world of highway racing. I'm the administrator of this bulletin board. Keep your post simple and clean and have fun. Short courses have now been added to the highway courses. Therefore, I've divided this BBS into long course and short course sections. Please see the relevant BBS. Okay. So it's just, yeah. Compact Giant rides yet again, always getting edged out. AZ1 sponsor called Takeoff. Finally started recruiting. You can find them under the tie-up sponsors. Top spot. Okay. So that's just like some people talking. What is information? Newly acquired courses, release cars and parts, sponsor test, and other information shown here. I uh, yeah, I don't I don't think it's the game for me, man. That's all I'm saying, you know? It's fine. I'm not gonna sit here and hate on it, but I like I said, if it's other people's favorite game, then more power to you. I just do not personally like the way it handles, the way it presents information. 
Um, just don't care for it. Graphically, I think it looks fine. That's about the only nice thing I can say about it. And it runs fine, I guess, right? Like, technically speaking, it I didn't see any hitching. Uh, frame rate seems consistent. Uh, loading times weren't too bad. <laughs> I'm kind of grasping at straws here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go to bed. Um, remember, guys, we're playing games on Wednesday instead of on Monday for the time being. So I won't be on tomorrow. I'll be uh, possibly searching for my stolen item um, <laughs> and or sleeping. So, yeah, we'll be back Tuesday no night, though, for some more Morrowind. Uh, until then, have a good night, guys. I'm fucking dead right now. Bye and be kind to each other. I can't even do anything. Oh. <sighs>